Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today I'm recreating my favorite Mythbusters experiment ever. So basically they had this huge rocket track and they had hundreds of pounds of rockets and they put a car on this end and you know, it'll just be easier to show you what they did. This is our super plow that we're gonna load up with 12 rockets. It's gonna propel this sled 750 feet down the track going 500 miles an hour. One. I've always wanted to recreate this experiment, but unfortunately, it's a little bit out of my price range. But I could afford to get a plastic toy Jeep and I could make myself a rocket knife. Let's get started. Basically, I just took an old kitchen knife and I cut it in half and then I attached it to some uh, pieces of aluminum. In order to make sure that the rocket's going as fast as possible, I use this plumber's Teflon tape on the bottom and sides of this, and I spray the entire track with graphite lubricant. We've got the Jeep down there, the Kronos high-speed camera is recording everything. All right, let's do this. Are you ready, Riley? Yep. Here we go. Rocket sled, three, two, one, go! Do you see this? This is perfectly, perfectly straight through. I, you couldn't have asked for a more perfect cut. So you can see that it, it came in sideways like that, and then it kind of started cutting like that. Now for the moment of truth, and it worked, myth confirmed. I was so excited when this happened, and I did it all with a homemade sugar rocket, just like the ones Grant Thompson made. That was so fast. That was. You should try being down at this end. Yeah, right? <laughs> This thing can cut through anything. I think it can cut through anything. I think now we're gonna try a whole chicken. A whole chicken. A whole chicken. That is gonna be fun. Ugh. Okay, so for our next experiment, we're gonna be trying to cut this whole chicken in half. It weighs 3.8 pounds and it's gross. It's been sitting in my car for far too long. So the knife will be flying down here and we'll be able to measure the speed using this uh, yardstick. Oh, oh my gosh, that's just too gross. Well, okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and let's get started. You ready down there? Yep. Okay. Launch in three, two, one, go! Reviewing the footage in high speed, I determined that it took this knife an average of 16 frames to go one foot. And if I'm recording this at 3,000 frames per second, that means it's going almost 150 miles an hour. Oh, oh. So slimy. Wow. It cut through the bones and everything. Oh yeah, no resistance. Look at that. It's like, goes through all the ribs. That's an organ. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably something I wouldn't want to eat. They totally cut through this chicken right in half. Like you can see one, two, three, cut through all the ribs, the backbone, breastbone. I guess we can feed it to Duffy. Yeah. I tried this again using a chuck rose steak and if you've ever made your own sugar rockets before, you know that they're not all perfect and sometimes they do explode a little bit. But hey, it all worked out in the end and it looked super cool while doing it. Neato. Gosh, if I could just chop your butt right off, I wouldn't want to be anywhere on this end where this thing fires. You are a brave person for being down here, Riley. All right, now we're gonna do a bunch of fruit. Cucumbers, tomatoes, apples, pineapples, and a watermelon. The most remarkable thing about this is just the speed that knife is going. I mean, if you watch it at a normal speed, it doesn't even look like a knife went through there. The fruit just falls in half. It's kind of like that scene with the lasers from Resident Evil. Easily cut through that cucumber. Same thing with the tomato, not even bruised or dented. That's how fast it's going. Wow. Perfectly sliced through the pineapple. Through. Even the leaves. It didn't even bend the leaves. Actually, it looks like it came through sideways on the watermelon. You see that? Oh yeah, huh. <laughs> Almost all the way through. It just wasn't tall enough. All right, for this next, since we're gonna be trying to blow up some firecrackers, I'm using two black powder engines. And if that's not enough to get this thing to set off some firecrackers, I'm gonna heat the blade up red hot. All right, 
Red Hot Blade, let's start it up. Oh, the rocket engine exploded. Oh, wait, the whole thing came apart. That's what's known as a catastrophic failure. Ow, Don't you. Oh, dang. Oh, ah, you probably got that on video. I did. <laughs> well guys, unfortunately that last rocket explosion kind of blew up my whole rocket knife sled thing, but we got a ton of shots and I'll fix this next week and I burned the crap out of my fingers when I touched that knife, I forgot it was hot. So we've got one more experiment for you today though. We have a GoPro strapped on to a rocket sled with a rocket on it. So now you'll know what it feels like to go from zero to 150 miles an hour in 0.3 seconds. You ready to go? Yep. All right guys, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Well guys, I'd say that that was a success. We managed to slice the car completely in half, a chicken and a bunch of fruits, and that was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it broke and I burned the crap out of my fingers, so I'll fix it and we'll make more videos about this once my burns heal and I can fix that thing. So in the meantime, if you wanna follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and you can check out my new website at thebackyardscientist.ist, not .com, it's cool, right? If you go to my website, you can submit a cool project or video that you made. This week's featured content comes from YouTuber William Osmond, and he's got a bunch of cool stuff on his channel. Recently, he used a laser cutter to cut through a hot dog, and he's got he's just got a bunch of really cool and funny and well-produced stuff on his channel. Give for a small YouTuber, it's pretty good, worth checking out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll be back with next week for more, so if you have any cool suggestions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll try it next week. See you guys next time. Bye.